Gee, officer, what seems to be the problem? No license, no registration, no plates, no headlights, no taillights, no wheels, and I clocked you going 3,000 miles per hour. That's 2,945 miles an hour in excess of the posted limit. Great. There goes my insurance. All right, where's your spaceship? What's a spaceship? And what are you? I'm a carnivorous duck. And I'm in a bad mood. Now start talking, or I start eating. Oh, oh, you mean my spaceship. I get your drift now. I can lead you right to it. Come on. Some alien minute you turned out to be. What's the DOD? What does it do? Zip, how does this go together? You can't do that. If you let your friends blow up the Earth, I'll never speak to you again. Trapped. What are we going to do? Die horrible searing deaths in less than an hour. Look, when a vastly superior alien culture comes all this way to take over your world, certain basic laws of planetary conquest apply. For example, when someone points a quad-vectored hyperthermic cosmoblaster at you, it's a fair bet you're about to become toast. Will you please sit down and be quiet? Or perhaps in your case, a whole loaf of toast. Uh, it's 8.15 p.m., October 31st. Just been alerted to a speed violation in progress. Watch now as I teach this automotive scoff law lesson in motor vehicular responsibility. Nobody gets away with going 3,000 miles per hour in a 55 mile an hour. Just... Okay. Wait a minute! Cease fire! Something's wrong! Wrong? Ah, ah! It's been booby trap! And we're the boobies! Are you a Martian? I'm a duck. Yeah, if you're a duck, where are your webbed feet? <laughs> we did win, didn't we? No, but if we think fast enough, we just might live to lie about it. Let me explain the whole situation in a nutshell. There are five of us and four billion of them. They have strategic air commands, nuclear-powered submarines, and John Wayne. For years, scientists have speculated that there was intelligent life in outer space. Now comes definitive proof that there is no such thing. Come on, open this baby up. Let's see what she'll do. Hit it, Blasney. <laughs> Now, five misguided Martians have landed in Big Bean, Illinois. Come on, let's kick some earthling butt. <laughs> Looks like you hit something. On Halloween night. Prepare to die, Earth scum! <laughs> Maybe later. Have fun, boys. They think they're wearing Halloween costumes. What a bunch of morons! Perhaps a taste of this death rat. Perhaps I'll just have to remove those little heads of yours. <laughs> And now they're up to their antennas in. What did I step in? You know how bad that's gonna smell? In trouble. There are five of us and four billion of them. Why know you boys? They're my cousins from California. Dude, let's get them! I caught you going 3,000 miles per hour. There goes my insurance. They're not really bad, they're just stupid. Join Captain Bipto. I said prepare to die. Lieutenant Blasney. I thought this was a bad idea. Blue Boy, the robot slave. Ah, no! Mom's gonna hear about this! And all their spaced out friends. Mom, how good. As they take off on an adventure that's not quite out of this world. Who taught you to drive, you moron? 
Space Invaders. They did win, didn't we?